All right, working at it one piece at a time. You know, I'm using parts off the other car out there that didn't come off this car. Um, you know, I got the bumper cover on. This is the bumper cover off my black parts car, and this is the lower bumper cover off of my car because it has backup crash sensors in it. So I had to use this piece. That bumper has to be cut to make this fit because the sensors are in the way of the, the it's like a zipper that locks that thing together. Uh, so I got that all put back together. Uh, that chrome piece right there goes right there. I got to get it cleaned up. Um, this goes on up front here, but it's broke, so I'm going to get a different one. You know, that's the good thing about having this parts car out front is, um, you know, a lot of screws. I've already been out there picking at it, you know, getting little pieces off it that I need. Um, that's just dirt for me. Anyways, I don't have the inside back together yet because I got a crap light out here. I don't think I can turn a light on. Nope. All right. No roof racks. No stupid little glued on pieces of trim on here. Those are gone. I have to put these roof rack locks back in. The only reason I'm putting them back in is because they're polished aluminum. Um, and they kind of accent up a little bit. But. Uh, the front's been the challenging part. <clears throat> This fender was okay. It's just got, you know, your bolts in the back, your bolts across the top and the front here. But see, I had to replace this headlight bucket because mine was broke. I took it off that brand new core support. There's another new headlight bucket. Don't need it, but might have should have changed it, but I didn't. My core support, you know, goes together in about six, eight paces. And it was, you know, I took it apart and I didn't videotape it. So... I kind of screwed myself, but um, there's one of the pieces for the bumper cover to go right there. There's another one on this table here somewhere. Anyways, that was the challenging fender because there's a wash solvent bottle that literally goes from here and takes up this whole section of the fender. You can actually see it up there. Well, it has to be out to put the fender on. There's a GPS antenna that's probably, uh, you know, as big as that thing, that's the ECM. There's a GPS antenna bolted right here. Then you got this hose routed through the fender. So I got to, I had to get my wife to help me put that on because I had to have her hold the fender, you know, up in the air while I stuffed everything up in there. But anyways, we're making slow poking progress but I was hoping to maybe drive it this weekend but I doubt it maybe bumper cover still outside but anyways that's it all polished up pretty much just been sitting here getting dirty it's um you can see it's got a pretty good shine to it and that's in here under these crappy fluorescent lights I got all those moldings on yesterday there you go.